Hello from Faro, Portugal. So we made our way down here from Cabanas. It's about 40 minute uh, train ride. Faro is not a place that we necessarily had ranked high on our list to no. visit, but we've had some suggestions to come. You know, Faro is one of those, it's the capital in the Algarve and it is where you're going to come through when you come to the Algarve. You're it's either going to, it's a big, big city. city. You're either going to fly through here. You're going to take a train here. If you take a train from one end of, so the east side or west side of the Algarve, you're going to change trains in Faro. This is the stopping point. So no matter what, you'll probably visit here, but you may never come see the town. So we've been gonna, here twice before. Yeah, we've been here twice before. We never saw the town. Got a car and left. <laughs> yeah. So now we're here, we're gonna check it out and see what it has to offer. Um, there's a little old town and show you around. Let's get to it. You're here in Old Town. It's a pretty big old town. It is a bigger old yeah. town than what I was expecting. Right. Yeah. It's 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 a uh, I don't know just different from the rest that we've been mm -hmm. to. Uh, they've got a Fado Museum. Fado is big here in Portugal. Uh, they've also got the cathedral. Right. And we didn't see the price to go into the Fado Museum, but the price to go into the cathedral is five euros. The thing that they have a lot of in there is a lot of restaurants and yeah. cafes. cafes. Not a lot bars. of stores though. We'll find them. Yeah, I'm sure they be in the capital. They have stores they got, here and we know they have a shopping <laughs> district. It's just not in the old town like we're kind of used to seeing. So we're going to go kind of search that out. And if I know Brian, he's probably getting thirsty. Getting thirsty. It's warm. <laughs> So we spent a little bit of time in Faro and you know the old town is actually really nice and, and stuff but we wanted to come out and check out Faro Island so grab the bus which ended up actually being really easy. The bus yeah. is um, maybe two blocks from the train station. Uh, it was bus 16 and it was two euro and 35 cents per person, per person one person, way yeah. yeah so uh and for us it was actually kind of perfect because it was a trial run because it's the exact same bus that you take it's going to stop at the airport as well so we've already kind of done that so now we know what we're doing next time now we know what we're yeah. doing which <laughs> 
It says more for half the time. <laughs> so now we are out here on Faro Island. We stopped and got a beer. It's, it's nice. It's, it's nice. Yeah. yeah. I can't say there's a lot out here to no. do. Um, if you're looking for a beach day, it's a beautiful beach. It has really big waves. So it's not necessarily. It's a nice beach. Yeah. It's what you'd expect out of any beach. Right. There are some really nice uh, condos and, and apartments out here. Mm -hmm. um, I would say if you were to come to Faro, um, I would stay out here. Probably, yeah, probably if, if so. If I were to stay, if I was to do a, a weekend holiday or right, whatever. Right, especially if you're looking for the beach, yeah. definitely stay out this way. Yeah. Behind us is not the beach, by the way. This is, what would you call this? This is, is the, the canal. Uh, lagoon. Lagoon, yeah. canal, yeah. A that's, lot of places were in, in this background. as well. Yep, far away back there in the background. So, so. yeah, so we're going to look around a little bit more here and then probably catch the bus, which looks like it's every half an hour, so pretty easy. Let's do it. Close. No beer for you. So we came back into um, Old Town here. I don't even know if this is considered Old Town. This it's is more the shopping side. district. The shopping. I think. We yeah. found the shopping district. Here we yeah. are. Yeah. So, um, what are your thoughts on Faro? Yeah, I would uh, I would put it towards the bottom of my right. list. Yeah. Just because there are so many other places to go mm -hmm. here in the Algarve that it would rank higher for me. Right. Now, um, it's, it's not to say anything bad. No. Uh, the beach was fantastic once you mm -hmm. get out there. But if you're coming you're and you're going out there, you're really just going to the beach. There's really not a whole lot more to offer a that bars, we saw. A couple restaurants, yeah. a little, yeah. little shops, that was about it. So it wouldn't be our first choice if we were looking for a beach anyways, but um, yeah. True. Yeah. So yeah. Um, one thing to note as well is when you're here, there are these little scooters that you can that Which you can, can rent. and get around on, yeah. that might be a way to go. We didn't see yeah. any pricing or anything. It's just one of those that where you scan it on your phone and uh, pay that way. So a lot of people using them though. So while we're waiting for the train, we're gonna grab something to drink, yes. right? Yes. Um, and then, but make sure to subscribe, ring the bell, and our next video, where are we heading next? I don't know. I don't know. We have we'll a couple of our out. day trips around here um, before we head to Lagos. So um, might be Lagos that's next, we're, we're not sure. Cheers.